All right, hey guys, Walter out here, and today we've got another Workout Wednesday. Um, we've got Rose and Adam helping us out. Today's gonna be an ab routine for beginners to get you guys started on building up the abs, the obliques, and your core as a whole. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. So the first exercise in this routine, we're gonna start off with the lower abs as you always should. Uh, we're gonna do bicycles. Bicycles, you're gonna have 45 degree position with the upper body and lower body. You're gonna bring your feet up, Move them in a cyclical motion like this. Every time one foot comes around, that's one rep. All right, let's go. You see Rose here? Good angle for the upper body. And she's fully extending her legs, which is good. That's gonna get you the best amount of burn here. Um, two, looking good, looking good. All right, keeping the tension on the lower abs here, moving into leg ups. Proper leg up form. We're gonna start with the legs six inches off the ground, hands out the side. I don't want to see the hands underneath the butt. It's going to give you too much aid. Hands out the side, keep the tension on the lower abs. Starting here, keep your neck relaxed. Don't look down like I'm doing. Keep your neck back here. Bring your legs up to parallel, straight as they can be. Pulse into the air. Back down slowly, six inches. Back up, pulse into the air. Just like that. So Rose here, she's going to try to straighten her legs a little bit more. Good pulse. Down slowly. Perfect form. And notice she's not kicking her legs backwards, she's kicking them straight up. That's what I want to see. If you kick them backwards, you're just using momentum. Adam here is doing well. I want to see him try to keep his legs a little straighter the whole time. Good, just like that. There it is. For guys, it's a little harder because the hamstrings aren't as flexible in guys sometimes. So a little bend in the knee is okay. The point is that he's fighting to keep his legs straight, and that's contracting those lower abs. All right, on to our last main focused uh, bow wrap exercise, we're going to be doing scissors. Uh, this is kind of an isometric and a concentric motion at the same time. So we're going to be pausing and we're going to be contracting. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So again, like leg ups, we're going to be bringing our legs up. But once we're up top here, we're going to bring one leg down and this is where the exercise starts. Try to straighten this leg. You notice I'm fighting. I'm not letting it hang out here. I'm really fighting to straighten that leg. I'm going to switch. Hold it for three seconds. Switch. One, two, switch. One, two, and continue. And that's the exercise. Again, I'm looking down here, but you shouldn't be. I want to see the head back here. Hands out of the side, not underneath your butt. Let's see what it looks like. All right, legs up. Good, keep that other foot off the floor once you're up. And switch. Switch. Switch, good. Switch, switch. Again, I was fighting to keep that leg straight. It's good, switch. Keep going, nice. Perfect form. Yeah. <laughs> All right, our next exercise, we're gonna be moving into upper abs as well. Still incorporating the lower abs, but we're adding a little bit upper abs as well. These are called cocoons. So start, you're gonna be on your back, arms out to your side, a little above your head. You're gonna bring your legs up, and kick them out. The first rep looks like this. We're going to bring our arms in, cross them around, and we curl up into the cocoon. Still keep your chin off your chest. Don't tuck it like this. Turn it down. Bring your forehead to your knees. Come back out. Keeping the feet off the ground once they're up. Sweet. And trying to maintain momentum the entire time. Don't grab the rest of the top. Just kind of wrap around. And again, fight the chin up. Bring in your knees. Close your eyes. Good. All right, Rose, straighten your legs a little bit at the bottom there. Good. Yeah, keep bringing those legs in once you tuck up. Nice. Try to just wrap your arms gently around there. Good. Yeah, that's it. Keep fighting for it. All right, good form. Good form. Adam's got it. Bite that chin up off here. Good, yeah. Keep your chin up towards the ceiling as you come up. You can protect your neck. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, our next exercise, we're going to be working specifically on the upper abs now. We have two versions of this exercise. The first one, easier version. Legs spread apart, straight out. We're going to start with our hands behind our head. Keeping our chin again up towards the ceiling so we're not cranking on the neck. We're going to come up, tap the floor, and back down. You don't have to come all the way up and reach and stretch. I want you to keep the pressure on your abs here. So behind, up, touch. Again, another way to make this harder is bring your hands in front of you the whole time. 
You have to fight against gravity a little bit more. The way to make this even more difficult, cross your legs, and now you've got less um, to really pull your upper body up with. Uh, it's gonna be a little more difficult this way. Tap the floor again. And of course, the hardest is keeping your hands in front of you the whole time. And tapping the floor. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys are worn out. They're gonna use the easy version. That's okay, do what works best for you. This is something where you, know, you wanna get a lot of reps. Um, it's not about your ego. It's about picking what works best for you and what makes you feel comfortable. We're moving into our last two exercises here. They're gonna be more oblique focused. Uh, so this exercise is a side crunch. For the obliques, we're gonna start again. We're gonna do the beginner version. Uh, start out light and progress this exercise as we get better with it over time. So shoulder arm, uh, arm with the shoulder down. That arm's gonna come in here along your body. We're gonna lie on the hip bone. Keep our legs kind of bent. So we have a little base. Putting this on behind the head, we're not gonna pull on the neck, we're just gonna have it resting lightly back there. Or you can have it, if you tend to pull on your neck, resting across your shoulder. And all we're gonna do is squeeze with this side wall to come up. We're gonna squeeze, hold, come back down. Squeeze and hold, and notice not a lot of movement. All we're gonna see is getting high enough so that you can kind of slide your fingers under your shoulder there. That's really the only movement we're gonna see with this. Uh, it's more about tensing the muscle. As we get stronger, we're going to be able to move the body into a larger range of motion with this exercise. But for now, focus on really feeling the side wall contract. All right, guys, let's get it. Okay, the is perfect. You'll see that she's coming up just enough so I can slide my hand into there real fast and come back out, really pinching right there on the side. Adam again, he's got good form. He's bringing the legs up a little bit too. So he's getting a little more advanced. He's got some, some core strength. We're on the other side now. So this side is a little harder for Adam. So Adam can keep his legs down on this and just focus on squeezing and getting that shoulder up to where I can slide on the so I can back out. It's good. You're always going to have a stronger and weaker side. Your dominant side, push a little harder. Your weaker side, focus on building that up by focusing on the squeeze. Don't let your ego get in the way and try to lift too hard. Rose over here, this looks like it's more of a dominant side. So that her legs will come up on this one. Um, she's got a good little bow in my chest. Her legs are here. Her torso is angled. That's the proper position. You don't want to be straight like a board. Um, so find what your dominant side is and really work hard on that one. All right, guys, last workout here. So this is where we're going to give it our all. We're upping it from 20 reps, which we've been doing on every other exercise, to 40. So for this one, every two taps is a rep. So it's not one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, like that. Now you can go fast here, but I want to make sure you're tapping the uh, the mat, the concrete, whatever you're on, each time. So I don't want to see this. You do want to get the full rep. If you can't do the entire 40 reps, that's okay. You just do it as many as you can physically do. Um, you'll notice that as you get tired, your torso will kind of fall back, your legs will fall forward, the movement will stiffen. That's when it's time to uh, throw in the towel. You had a good workout, you don't need to hurt yourself here. Without further ado, it's gonna look like this. Body back, almost like those bicycles. Hands up and chin up. You don't want to get the chin tucked. And breathe. This is very isometric for the upper abs, um, meaning basically we're holding it still. And then the real movement is going to be in those side walls again. So focusing on the obliques here at the end. So Rose is using a slower, more controlled technique. That's what works for her. And again, this is about doing what works for you and hitting the reps that you can. So if you can't complete all the reps, that's okay. Adam over here, he's going a little faster, pump him out, that's good. If he can control that kind of weight, he's making sure he's making contact on the side, that's what works for him. Again, so it's finding what works for you, so take your time and figure out what works best for you. He's struggling hard. Right. Alright guys, it's been Workout Wednesday, we had a beginner ab routine this week. Uh, next week I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, so you can tell me in the comments below what you want to see, and we'll bring it to you, we'll have the whole team here. And as always, leave a comment, leave a like, if you really like it, subscribe for more. We'll be trying to do daily uploads or close to daily uploads. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video.